Right, today at CoolSmartphone.com, we're gonna have a quick 10 minute look at the mobile device manager software from a company called 3CX. Now, 3CX have been around for a while now and they've produced their own um, VoIP phone system, which basically allows you to route calls over VoIP through your uh, Windows server or Windows XP, whatever you wish. But now they are making the mobile device manager software. Uh, now, you go to mobiledevicemanager.com, you set yourself up an account, completely free and you can suddenly do tracking you can manage applications you can secure mobile devices and you get a really easy to use administration portal now I'll show you on one of the phones here that I've got uh, the actual application is in the Google Play Store click on Play Store like that and it's just do a search for 3CX and then just have a look for mobile device manager there it is and it tells you when it focuses at least that it uh, it does tracking and security and uh, administration as well as application deployment um the good thing about this is i mean you, you do get warned when you install the application but it does have the right to remove and blank your phone um, but once you've logged in you get this screen here which doesn't look you know it's not much to look at for the most part but you, it really just runs as a client you don't need a great deal so this is the main screen that you're going to see and we have the location tracker straight away we can see where the phone is i can zoom in which i won't do because uh, I, I get uh, some strange people kind of wandering around if i do that what we can also do is have a look at the devices and um, you, you're going to find unfortunately during this review that you're going to have a look at the, some other things while I'm just editing this screen so that you can't see phone numbers and exact locations. But you can see uh, the devices up the top here that are currently logged in. The green one there is the Galaxy Note that I have to my left. On the left panel, we've got dashboard that you've just seen, the devices, groups of devices. Um, we can send messages, we can see the users, there are installed applications, alerts, and we can see the system logs as well. Now, the Samsung GTN 9, and blah, 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 the Galaxy Note basically, has been allocated into the directors group. Now, I can see on the directors group, by the way, if I click on it like I just have, We've got the location again in the bottom of the screen. We can click on info and we can see loads of information about that phone. We can see that it's using 22% of its CPU, for example. We can see it's only got 37% of its battery life left. We can see what IP address it's on, what OS it's running and what agent is currently um, running on the phone. We can see that it's connected over Wi-Fi. So if you do have somebody that says, oh, I'm on the road, boss. Oh, you're, you're connected via Wi-Fi and your home address is uh, kind of showing on there. So I don't think you are. You can click on applications. You can see what applications are installed on that particular phone. You can add an application here through an APK file. You can add through Google Play. You can add from a repo, a repository. You can remove an application too that's grayed out because i haven't selected one if i choose angry birds which of course my hugely expensive director shouldn't be having installed on his uh, phone i can just click that and choose remove application like that bang that will then remove the application from the device and stop that uh, that person from playing Angry Birds anymore. We can also see their location history, which I won't show you, but basically it does show a map and uh, the history of their movements. Call history, by the way, that bing bong you heard in the background shows that the phone is being accessed and uh, Angry Birds is being currently removed. So we can see if I flip across to the phone, you can see that Angry Birds is about to be uninstalled so we can see that the applications list is now going to in, you know, sort of update after that we can have a look at call history we can see what numbers this person has been calling and uh, I'll try and show you that here let's uh, just get that on there and you can see when that person dialed out what number they dialed how long they were on the phone etc so you can see if they're doing their job properly or not you can see the policy that we've given 
to this particular handset and you can see what Wi-Fi access points this uh, we'll just see if I can show you that here's all the access points that this person has on their phone sit so there look there's a phone and fallow I know that's a pub so hmm, this person's been to the pub you can do you can find various bits of information out like that you can also obviously assign to a group uh, so they're in the directors group now I can send a group message to all of those directors right now or I can just send a message to this one particular person so I'm going to send a message to this one person send them a notification click on notification and I'm going to say uh, meeting at 7 p.m. location can I spell? no I can't to follow send off that goes to the phone in question or if you put them into a group it will go to all of the people in that group so I'm going to go to the messaging and you can see I've got a new message now when it focuses and it says there's a meeting at 7 location to follow ah how do you send a location well if we go back onto the control panel and I zoom out and I basically find a location now I want to click island but basically you would do this a bit more accurately than I just have but I can zoom in on the map as normal with Google Maps and I can find a location stick a pin in it and then send it bang off that goes that now goes off to the phone the phone will bing bong again and we get a map and on the map is a red pin zoom out if you wish and this is the location of our 7 p.m. meeting, which is strangely a field in Ireland. But that's how easy it is to set that up. You can also go into messages on the um, control panel here. You can see all the messages that you have sent out and the locations that you sent to the phones here. You can see that and you can sort of use the filter, uh, filter system at the top right here you can see your users on the left hand side here you can add in new users through a CSV file or you can add them on the fly here you can see their name, their surname I haven't put that in here and you can see what device they're using now we can also see the installed apps which I just showed you but the most powerful part of this which I've strangely skipped over for a strange reason let's zoom out of here again is the remote wipe feature so I can choose a phone in question and I let's say I've had a phone call from somebody who has had their phone stolen and I can choose lock or I can choose wipe and I can remotely wipe those handsets so if a person has left the company I can wipe that handset and uh, get rid of all the personal information they may have on the phone I can lock a phone as well I can block that user from accessing the management portal I can delete them as well so uh, it's a really good way of following where the person has been you've got location history you can see who they've called you can see what applications they're using you can install an application that they may need you can lock their phone if it gets stolen you can remotely wipe it and this is all completely free so do give the mobile device manager a try uh, all you need to do is go to mobiledevicemanager.com